Okay, hello everyone, this is Mr. Rob Ronan here again, and today we're going over Murata's trailer. And it's an interesting one, interesting that it even exists, because I don't think there was many people at all that were expecting Murata to be actually be in the game. But uh, I think it's very clear once we actually see the trailer that he's, <laughs> he's quite a joke character. But at least they made him look kind of interesting, so we'll watch it together once, so we actually get to see a new mechanic there. But then some, you know, regular slashes. Okay, sorry, I just gotta add a quick copyright break in here, so that, uh, you know, no copyright. So I'll just take this quick second to ask you what you think that Murata's cheer, or his, um, like, his chant special will do. It hasn't come up yet in the trailer, but I talk about it for quite a lot in a little moment. So, yeah, leave in the comments down below what you think his chant will actually do, and, uh, we'll see who's right, I guess, when it comes out. He's got nothing too fancy, because, you know, I mean, no one really cares about him that much. Oops. <laughs> Hey, we get to see some combos though with his up combo texturing, his grab, and then this is what makes him interesting. He has these things called cheers, almost like a water wheel move, but without the water. And then, oh, he tries to tries to water breathe, and then and then, oh. <laughs> I'm intrigued how they're actually going to end that though. Is they are they really just going to kick every character in the crotch with Murata? Like, what's going on there? How's that going to end? They cut it too early because they know we wanted to see it. Okay, so. Now that we've watched it once, let's go over all the little things that we actually get to see in the trailer. It seems that Murata... Like, you'd expect him to be pretty basic and, like, normal and just have basic slashes and stuff, but it seems like he's got some, you know, kind of unique stuff. So anyways, the first thing that we get to see from him, um, very interestingly, is a new mechanic we haven't really seen yet, is the push guard. So, we... Um, in the demo gameplay, we got to see that that was a thing that existed, but they didn't actually show us them doing it. And here we get to actually see it in action. So it, it, it's just what it says. So while you're guarding, you can do this thing called a push guard, which just pushes the opponent back. And it doesn't actually seem like it stops the opponent doing anything. So as you can see, Tanjiro just keeps attacking, even though he gets pushed backwards. So depending on what attack they do, maybe they get pushed f far enough back that you can like punish or counter them. Um, but Tanjiro does a water wheel afterwards, so he just gets straight back in on them. But maybe you could, if you do the push guard, and you like sidestep out of the way, or you like do something l like to dodge them, and you can punish them. That could be pretty interesting, and it's just a interesting defensive move, or like a defensive option to get out of people's offense. And then we get to see his actual his attack string a little bit. You know, nothing too interesting. Just you know, a few sword slashes. Then we get to see a special move, which is just a just a big old cut. He just cuts you. Maybe he gets a combo from it. Maybe he doesn't. Maybe he just does a big chunk of damage. I have no idea. Um, then we get to see more of his attack string, but he just does the downwards version. Um, where he just, you know, bonks you on the head and then you get plopped on the ground. And then we get to see his upwards version of his attack string where he launches you into the air. And he gets a combo from it. So he shows you how combos are going to look in this game from your upwards attack. Um, so you, you do your upwards attack string where it launches the opponent in the air. You get your homing dash. You do your air attack string. For him, it's only two hits that, like, Actually, it looks like the second hit just like... Oh, hmm. They kind of cut it a bit quickly, but maybe it'll bounce the opponent and you can get a different attack, or maybe that's just the end. So maybe if you want to do a bit of a longer combo, you'll have to do, like, a single attack into a special move, into another special move or something. We, uh, we'll have to wait and see. Here's his grab. He's quite long range, but I'm pretty sure all grabs do. All right, I know we've seen Nezuko and Zenitsu's, and they all reach pretty far, but... It's. <laughs> I just got shocked by how far he reaches forward when he does this grab. The grab itself isn't <laughs> particularly interesting, though. <laughs> now we get into his his cheers. So, their cheers. I I. He looks like he's quite punishable while, while he does it. I don't imagine he has armor or any like invincibility while doing it. So, and it, they're pretty long. So it's not like he just like throws them out and they quickly happen. Like he does like the double fist bump and everything. So it looks like they take a while. So they're pretty easy to punish. So what you have to think about then is what to, what would they do that's worth that long animation? And some ideas that I have is that they maybe they're either gonna like buff you or bu or debuff your opponent. So it could either maybe make your opponent's meter like go down, like lower your opponent's meter, like as a taunt or something, or it could make yours recharge faster. Maybe it, it, like maybe if you get that off, it fully recharges all of your meter, which would be kind of crazy. Or maybe it heals your team. Or something that I thought it might do is because it's like cheering on, like, you know, like do your best and cheering someone on. Maybe if he does that move and gets it off and then he tags out and uses his, um, 
like the other character because you know how you're in a team of two if he switches out and then has the other character maybe his teammate then has like a really big damage buff on like maybe they do like two times damage um so like he you if you get the cheer off then you can switch out and then you've got a really overpowered character because he gets the cheer i feel like that could be a pretty interesting gameplay mechanic and then when you're playing with Munatal, you're always thinking, okay, if I land this hard knockdown, or maybe if I have enough time here, I have enough time to do the cheer, and then I can switch out and then use my other character, um, who's super strong now. I think that could be pretty cool. That's that's what I imagine it is, and that's what I hope it is. But then, uh, after that, we get to see this like rapid stabbing thing, which I imagine is a special move of its own, where he does like these stab, 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 and then cancels it into a, a water wheel-esque move, except not really much water. So, uh, yeah, it seems like his special moves, apart from the cheer, are pretty basic. Actually, maybe this one isn't his special move. Maybe one of them is his armored attack. Maybe the first one is his armored attack. And it leads to a combo or something, because then he'd have more than three. But yeah, whatever. He's got this rapid stabbing thing, and then he cancels it into a kind of water wheel thing. Except the water wheel... It does the water wheel and then it bounces them and also launches them into the air. So maybe he can cancel that last thing where, because he kind of like blows himself backwards at the end and like <laughs> falls away. So it looks like he could get a combo if maybe he did a homing dash um, and canceled that fall away animation. But uh, I don't know, we'll have to see because it's kind of annoying that he like launches himself back because he messes it up so bad that you can't get a combo or anything. So hopefully you can cancel that and get a homing dash or something. And then we don't actually get to see the startup of his super, so I, whenever they don't show us the startup of the super, I'm very intrigued as to whether maybe it's something really interesting that they're waiting to show us later, or maybe it's just super boring, I don't know. Because they've shown us boring ones before, we, they just run at the opponents. So maybe he does something cool, like a, like a parry or some like cool, like derpy thing, <laughs> like, because the super's pretty derpy. <laughs> but yeah, and we get to see it now. He trips and he, uh, oop, oh no, what's going on there? <laughs> Anyways. I don't think I have too much to say more to say about Murata. Uh, we get to see another gameplay mechanic with the push guard in his trailer, and he seems a little bit unique with his cheers and stuff. And it's just good to have another fighter that doesn't act the exact same as the other characters. Everyone seems pretty unique so far, and that's that's all you can hope for, really. <laughs> Anyways, thank you for watching all the way through this video. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.